A Farewell with Meaning Introduction Marie sat alone in her living room, gazing sadly out the window. It had been almost a year since she had lost her beloved husband, but the grief was still deep. The memories of their years together would not let her go and she missed him every day anew. Suddenly the doorbell rang. Marie rose with difficulty and went to the door. When she opened it, a messenger was standing in front of her, handing her a letter. The letter was addressed to her and bore the handwriting of her late husband. Marie was puzzled. How could this be? She remembered her husband's last words, that he would always be with her no matter what. Could that be the proof? With trembling hands, Marie tore open the envelope and began to read. The letter contained instructions from her husband to take her on a journey to collect items he had hidden for her. Each item told a story from their time together and was meant to help her overcome the pain of loss. Marie was both confused and intrigued by this unexpected development. She decided to follow her husband on his final journey and complete the task. This was her chance to say goodbye to him and be close to him once again. The Letter Marie packed her bag and set out early the next morning. The letter had given her specific instructions on where to begin her search. She was excited and nervous, but also ready for this trip. Her first stop was a small cafe on the outskirts of town. Here her husband had left her a key that would lead to a locker. Marie entered the cafe and sat down at a table. A waitress brought her a coffee and an envelope, also from her husband. The envelope contained a photo of the two of them at their wedding and a letter from her husband telling her how much he still loved her and that he hoped this trip would help her let go of him. Fighting back tears, Marie decided to focus on the task at hand. Taking the key, she went to the locker and opened it. Inside was a diary her husband had kept for her. It contained detailed records of their shared experiences and feelings he had during their marriage. Marie sat down at a table in the cafe and began to read. She laughed at the funny stories and cried at the emotional moments. This diary brought her closer to her husband and made her feel that he was still with her. When she finished the journal, she felt relieved and ready for the next part of her journey. She thanked her husband for these gifts and left the cafe with renewed hope and strength. The Task Marie left the cafe with renewed courage and a clear goal in mind. Her next stop was a museum that was nearby. Here her husband had given her a task to solve in order to continue her journey. When she entered the museum, a large treasure box that stood on a pedestal in the middle of the room immediately caught her eye. On it was a note with the task, find the right key among the many wrong ones. Marie set off on her search and began looking through the treasure boxes in the display cases and on the shelves for the right key. After some time, she found a small golden key that perfectly matched the lock of the treasure box. She opened the treasure box and found inside another letter from her husband telling her how proud he was of her and that she had almost reached the end of her journey. Inside was also a card with instructions for the next part of her journey. Marie was thrilled and felt rewarded for her efforts. She thanked her husband for his care and love and left the museum with a smile on her lips. She followed the map and eventually arrived at a small park where she would finally meet her husband again. Here she would find the answers to all her questions and finally be able to find peace. Marie took a deep breath and got ready for the finale of her journey. The Journey Marie continued her journey, motivated by her husband's diary. She followed the instructions in the letter and traveled through the countryside. During her journey, she passed many places that she and her husband had visited together. These memories brought a smile to her face and helped her remember the good times. She also visited places she had never seen before and had many new adventures. The scenery was breathtaking and she enjoyed every moment of it. However, she was still searching for answers and hoped that this trip would help her let go of her grief. Marie also met people who could help her continue her journey. She met people who were also grieving the loss of a loved one and they shared their stories with each other. These encounters helped Marie to stop feeling alone and she found comfort in community. 
At the end of her journey, Marie finally reached a place where she had to make an important decision. She had all the answers she had been looking for, and it was time for her to go home. Although she was still sad, she was also ready to move on with her life and carry the memories of her husband in her heart. With renewed hope and strength, Marie made her way home. She was ready to live her life and remember the love she had for her husband. The End Marie had successfully completed the tasks, but she felt exhausted and drained. Still, she was happy that she had made the trip and experienced all that her husband had planned for her. She returned home to find another letter from her husband. It said that he hoped the trip had helped her let go of him and that he would always be with her no matter where she was. Marie cried as she read the letter. She had finally accepted that her husband was no longer with her, but she would always carry him in her heart. She decided to start a new life and went to see her therapist to get her life back on track. Marie, I think you've taken a big step toward healing, the therapist said. By dealing with your thoughts and feelings, you have allowed yourself to let go of your husband and move on. It's important to take time for yourself and learn to accept your grief before you're ready to look to the future. The therapist also told Marie that it was important to take care of her own emotional health and make more time for her own needs in the future. I think you have shown great strength and resilience in facing this journey, the therapist added. I'm proud of you and I'm here to continue to help you if you need it. Marie felt empowered and inspired by her therapist's words to continue working on herself and managing her grief. She left the session feeling hopeful and renewed for the future. My Summary Marie, the poor soul, decided to go on a trip that would supposedly help her let go of her deceased husband. As it turned out, this trip was simply another way for her to spend her time and energy on a fantasy that her husband was still alive. She met with a therapist who told her she wasn't crazy and that it was normal to feel this way. But who knows, maybe the therapist wasn't all there herself. In any case, Marie received letters and objects that were supposedly from her husband and even read a diary that he had kept for her. But in the end, it turned out to be either the work of a dead man or a madman. Ironically, Marie believed that at the end of her journey she was ready to let go of her husband but who knows, maybe in a few weeks or months she will go on another search.